I get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie That I die I can't hide Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tori if you're new here and today we are going to do a little cook and clean with me, doing some chores around the house outside as well as showing you our meals. So if you are excited, let's get right into it. Okay, let's do a garden update. So all of the honeysuckle are gone for the year. They don't bloom for too long. You will see that you might have a few, but like I said, they're not edible. So just something nice to look at. The irises just never bloomed. This has happened two years in a row, so that's okay. But the roses bloomed. I'm not sure if it's possible for a rose to be a biannual. If you know the answer to that question, go ahead and comment it because it was pretty large last year and we didn't have any flowers. So these are the roses, a deep like pink color. Not my favorite color, but they are still really beautiful. And there's so many of them. I don't know what kind of roses these are either. And my raspberry bush still coming in hot. Really need to get some, rid of some of these weeds. And then over here, I have that Furman sage. So this is, I thought maybe it would get a little bit bigger. I'll give it some time, but I might replant this in a pot by it on its own. And then I have my butterfly bush here. So it's kind of leaning because it's so heavy, but that's okay. See? Yeah, gentle. Hi. 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 That's nice of you. Can you say butterfly bush? Butterfly fresh. Yeah, good job. All right, and then we're gonna head on over to the vegetables. Over here, we planted some Brussels sprouts, sweet potato, and poblano chilies. And then we have some kale happening all around here, and there's a lot of weeds, but I have to just get in there and get all of that. Kale grows really well in Colorado. I've never had a problem with that. Hi. Hello, kale. Can you say hi, Kale? Hi, Bubba. Hi, hi Bubba's. Hi, Bubba's. Oh, okay, yes. Yeah, so we did a little trick um, to transition Y into cups like this. <coughs> we buried his um, baby bottles, if you wanna call them that, in here. And what happened? What happened to the baby Bubba's? I told him a pepper or maybe a sweet potato would plant. So the next day we a came pepper. out yeah. and there was a pepper and a sweet potato there and our bubbers were gone. Yeah. So that is how we transitioned. Um, little parent yeah. hack for you, wink, wink. <laughs> um, I have a dying ivy over here and some basil. I have a dying rosemary, but sometimes they come back. So I'm gonna leave it. And then over here, I have some chamomile coming through. I have some lavender right here. We love to smell our lavender. And then the ways that I save in the garden, cause it, gardening can get expensive if you don't do it correctly. Um, I go to the discount racks at the garden centers and see some wilted plants and I just plant them. So the pumpkin plant was, how much was the pumpkin plant? Do you remember? I think 50 cents. And then we have a spaghetti squash, 50 cents. We have a yellow baby watermelon over here with a hose on it, wilder. Um, and again, 50 cents. And then we have the sugar baby, 50 cents. So they're pretty cheap. And then over here, is a mess but we have some yarrow coming back which is really great to have in my little apothecary and then we do have 
some lavender bushes peeking through that little green guy right there that's lavender and back there and then we have some buds for the hollyhocks and then over here we have some larkspur so pretty exciting garden gardening stuff happening and then over here we have our tomatoes and our lemon cucumber all of which were on discount as well i showed you that haul a few videos back um if you missed it just check on my channel i think it was like three videos back and then over here we have some zucchini and some sunflowers and i am waiting for my husband to get rid of this big picky thing because i don't want it there and it's causing some shade for my sunflowers so yeah this is what we have going on and then these foxgloves were actually on the side of the road so i am um, what like i didn't like just go pick them out of the side of the road some woman had them at her house so i'm going to try and bring them back to life i never know if that's going to work but I love foxgloves because they come up every year and I think it would be a like fun the addition box. to the house. I like the box. You like those? Yeah. And our roses are going to bloom here pretty soon. And then I have some more chamomile over here because you know I like to make tea with that. So yep, pretty exciting. I also got a question in my last video. This noise thing and this thing right here is a radon mitigator, I believe. Yeah. So um, Colorado is pretty well known for having that. Um, a lot of the homes come with it. And we're just thankful that we have this little situation to mitigate. I'm not really sure if I'm saying that right, but that is what that noise is. If you were asking that question, I decided to answer it finally. And then we have a tree update. This one um, <laughs> is coming in a little strange. So dead on the top. But then on the bottom here, the branches are coming in pretty healthy and we are really liking the shade. Um, we need to fill up this bird bath, but we're just gonna leave it, see what happens. I don't really know. We'll see. And then my husband ended up getting up onto this here and chopping it down. Here's all that, we'll use it for firewood. But this one was absolutely dead. Over here, I wanna give this one a chance. My husband does not. But we really want to get some aspens in here some more trees and then over here that one's just looking sad so that one might not work but i don't know that one not let me know should we leave it i think we should leave it i'm never a fan of cutting down trees but if they're dead then i guess it's fine are having some breakfast and I am just going to be completely real today and let the mess happen if that's okay with you. Wilder is over here um, cutting just about everything that he can, aren't you? Mm -hmm. And I am making us some veggie cream cheese with just sourdough toast today. I've gotten questions about this. Are you gluten-free on the starch solution? No, but I am trying to reduce my gluten. So sourdough toast is a good way to do that. I still eat whole grain bread, but I just don't eat a lot of bread throughout the day. So over here, I have some Kite Hill cream cheese. Just gonna use a little bit of that. I have some onion, broccoli, and bell pepper. I'm probably gonna do half of that. And then the other half of these veggies, I will do a stir fry at lunch with some rice. I have some tomato here and then the sourdough toast you just heard. And then I put everything in this freezer bag for veggie broth. And yeah, I'm just gonna put everything together. Wilder's gonna have some toast and fruit as well. Delilah is sleeping just for a little bit. So we just have some time to be with each other. Sister has toast. Do you want her to have some toast? Oh, that's sweet of you. So we'll get some toast for everybody and some eggs for them and we will be good to go. This is how it came out. I have some blueberries, oranges. I have the toast with some tomato and veggie cream cheese, and I have a big thing of lemon water. 
So my daughter is still sleeping. I am taking this time to take advantage of folding the laundry. My son is my shadow. I'm not complaining about it. Um, so he is sitting here with me and I'm reading him a book. So I'm just multitasking here and just trying to get all of the laundry done I can before my daughter wakes up. Alright, we are cleaning the rugs now. So I have some laundry detergent and I have the scrubber. Well, Wilder does. Just gonna get some stains out and then I'm gonna hose them down and mop the floor. I like to do it like once a month. I don't know, maybe every two months, probably not once a month, but I try and do it as much as possible. Now we hose it off and you could say, hey Tori, use like bleach or something. I really don't like to use chemicals if you haven't caught on to that by now, but it's okay if you do. I just don't like using it. And you can tell me all of your lies. I will put out all of the fire. If it gets too dark, oh, oh, I'll be Got to show you all what Wilder got me for my birthday. It's like a hanging little succulent thing. It's super cute. I water it like maybe every other day and I'm worried that maybe I should stop doing that because this little friend passed already. So um, I'm not really sure. If anyone knows about outdoor succulents that are in direct sun, you let me know if you're from Colorado because that would be a little bit more helpful, but yeah. I am making lunch. I have my oven preheated to 400. I have four white corn tortillas and a little bit of Kite Hill cream cheese. I'm just gonna spread a little bit of that on there with some marinara sauce and those veggies. Might dip it in something, I don't know, but that is lunch today. I also am gonna put some arugula on there as well. After lunch, we took a little break outside just to get some D3 and just play around. My daughter loves being outside. So did my son, he still does. So it's just a really good time. We try and spend as much time outside as we possibly can.
I decided for dinner that we were going to have some crab cakes, but I like to prep this um, crab dip. I don't even know what you want to call it. Um, obviously, there's no crab in it. There are some garbanzo beans in here and some hearts of palm. I also throw a little bit of plant-based mayo in there and then a tablespoon of cream cheese. This would not be considered part of the starch solution because uh, the plant-based uh, mayo has a lot of oil in it. So I have some tomato sauce in there, tomato ketchup, sorry. I have some Old Bay and then some dill. I put in some onions and yeah, I call it good. So I'm just going to wash these off and then I'm gonna throw my chickpeas in and smash them. I like to chop my hearts of palm and I will show you towards the end here. I am just throwing a little bit of it in the oven for around 10 minutes at 400 and making a little crab dip snack before I make them into patties. I just didn't get a chance to film the patties. So all you're gonna do is form them into little crab cake patties and just bread them in some breadcrumbs. You can serve it with some vegan tartar. You can put them on sandwiches. There's a lot that you can do with these. And this batch makes so, so much. So since the rugs were out, I decided to vacuum the floor and I went ahead and mopped it as well and it was still damp. So here I am polishing the floor, getting a workout in if you want to call it that. These are all um, hardwood floors. They're not real wood or anything, but I find that it gets super messy, super easy. So it's just nice to do a mop maybe like once every two weeks if I can get to it. And now I am just watering all of our indoor plants. I do this every other day. So my husband got home and generously offered to give the kids a bath, which was super helpful. So I am just getting my daughter ready for bed here. And then I am gonna tackle the dishes as well as do another vacuum because of course the floors got messy. <laughs> um, well, like how wouldn't they with these kids? But I just like to do all these dishes you know, at night just to keep everything clean. It keeps me mentally feeling good in the morning when I'm waking up to a clean kitchen and it just makes things so much easier. So if you have the time, just put on some music, get those dishes done and then sit on the couch. I find that if I sit, then I'm not gonna get up for the rest of the night. I also am pretty guilty of cleaning my sink every night. I know it sounds strange, but it just makes me feel better. So I use some baking soda and a little bit of vinegar and I scrub it down every single night. It just makes me feel better knowing that things are clean, especially with the kids in the house. I just don't want any germs or any cross contamination. So I try and do this every night. And I wanted to show you how I store my scrubber. So it's just half water, half vinegar, and I set it in there overnight and take it out in the morning. 
Every night I check on the flowers just like I do in the morning and tonight I am taking some roses off that are a little wilted. You can tell by the color, they just get a little bit on the whiter side and I'm putting it on my flower drying rack. I make face oils with this, I can make tea, I can make lotions and balms and bath salts. There's just so many different things. So yeah, I'm just showing you a little glimpse into this little rose harvest. So the kids are in bed and then my husband went to the gym. He does that at night on his days off usually and I'm enjoying some kombucha and the beautiful Colorado sunset. I am going to end this cooking and cleaning vlog here. I really hope you enjoyed this different type of content. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. I will see you next time. As always, stay adventurous, stay creative. Bye y'all!